Hello, welcome to this section on the books on RF and microwaves. This section covers my very, very first book called Radio Frequency and Microwave Electronics Illustrated, published by Prentice Hall in 2001. This was my flagship book, which I explored many aspects of our RF and microwave world. Particularly, I developed a scientific framework for learning RF and microwaves easily and effectively. I covered the fundamental RF and microwave concepts and their applications. I also was, presented, was able to present the, the characterization of two port networks at RF and microwaves using S parameters. Use of the Smith chart, very much uh, amply used in this work. Also, the key design considerations for microwave amplifiers, stability, gain, and noise, and developed a series of workable considerations in the design of practical active circuits, such as amplifiers, oscillators, frequency converters, such as mixers, and control circuits, RFICs, and MICs, and novel use of live math in second mass in design, which was a Microsoft uh, live program, interactive program, that you can download uh, or get a CD on it. The CD on this comes with a CD. You can use the CD to download the pro, get the program from here, download to your computer, and be able to design circuits using this book. So this was the very, very first book that I did and was very popular, published in many parts of the world, particularly this book went to China, and the translated into Chinese version of that came out in 2000, I believe, four. And then later on, the Korean version of this book came out. And uh, oddly enough, these books still sell, even now, um, 2012, it's 11 years, the book has been published. They still sell, uh, in fact, very recently sold in China, China 3,000 copies. It's amazing how an old book like this still is popular around with the scientists and engineers. Anyway, so having done this, I moved on to another area where I realized that I could develop basics of design of microwaves and RF circuits. So I wrote this book called RF and Microwave Design Essentials, which is engineering design and analysis from DC to microwaves. Having done this, I realized that I need to use this book to create my next level, which is advanced concepts. So knowing basics are good, but advanced RF and microwave circuit design covers many advanced circuits that most engineers need to design at work. So this book is the subtitle, Ultimate Guide to Superior Design, and published in 2009. It covers many such things as, I have it here, um, power amplifiers, CAD design examples, integrated circuits, multi-stage amplifier design, uh, noise figure, noise temperature and measurement, detailed application of the switch chart, uh, detector design, mixer design, oscillator design, network design, particularly active networks, and many other things that are useful for today engineering applications. Then in 2011, I realized that these have been active circuit designs, so I developed my next work called Electronic Waves and Transmission Line Circuit Design, subtitled Your Illustrated Guide to Wave Engineering. Now this is basically a passive circuit design guide. It does many things, particularly I have laid the foundation for scientific, all the scientific fundamentals in the subject. I examine transmission line postulates. I present mathematics of force fields. Uh, wave propagation, RF and microwaves. How do they propagate? What are the properties of waves at these frequencies? RF and microwave passive network design. Uh, milestone postulates of electricity. I cover microwave design examples, plenty of examples. 
and then detailed application of the Smith chart, lumped and distributed element circuit design, the universal communication principle, plane waves in material media, both could be lossy or lossless media, we cover that in depth. Lossy transmission lines as well as lossless transmission line design. Frequency response of passive networks. Matching network design. Uh, quasi TM transmission line design. And uh, transients on transmission lines as well as oblique incidence of waves. So it's really a very comprehensive work that I did and for the scientific community where people can learn the fundamentals of circuit design for the passive circuit such as filters transmission lines any tuning network matching network this is your foundation hopefully with this introduction you're able to look into more depth into these books and learn for yourself firsthand how you can become a top designer using these series of books in your own profession. Now I want to thank you for taking time to watching this video.